Hi hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Monday. It's another day, I can see the forms are off from the foundation walls. And today we're starting with hydro isolation. We're removing the concrete, the excess concrete that is left after the forms. And the guys over here are removing the forms themselves. So general cleanup. So here the guys they are removing the forms and on the house uh, prep work for the hydro isolation, the bitumen mass is ongoing. So we're putting down some uh, filler mass in the uh, corners so that there's a nice round shape so the bitumen mass doesn't uh, crack uh, the corners. We're also cleaning up the tar paper so the bitumen mass can uh, bind to it. So it's raining a bit, you can see the guys here are uh, cleaning up the tar paper from re the remaining of the concrete and the sand and on the other side here the guys are putting the filler mass in the corners so that the bitumen mass can go transition smoothly from vertical to horizontal. And of course the beer bottle method allows us to get a nice radius on the filler mass so it's smooth. Yeah, so I'm cutting off the edges, the rough edges on the concrete walls, just grinding them down so the transition is a bit more smooth. That way when the uh, bitumen mass comes, it doesn't have a hard edge to overcome. And the guys did the same over here on the foundation foot. Okay, so the guys have been removing the form from the garage as you can see. And here is where this uh, most critical failure was. You can see the wall was pushed out a little bit. It's nothing major really, it's just a little bit more concrete that went into the wall. Doesn't hurt us at all. It's better to have more than less concrete always. And uh, yeah, and the foundation looks really good for the house and for the garage. And uh, I'm happy. We're done with uh, concrete for a while. It was a lengthy process of forms and pouring and forms and pouring and everything. Good that this is over with, that we can move on to new stuff, new exciting stuff. Yeah, 
hydro isolation all the way. So today the guys are just uh, finishing like clean up and smoothing everything out and taking out the hard edges and everything. And tomorrow morning we're going to start with uh, the bitumen mass. I got a bitumen mass that is, uh, comes in two parts. You mix them together. One is like an accelerator that if it would rain or something the mass would still bind because it starts to bind chemically and not through water evaporation. So we also have a primer that we'll first uh, put on uh, tomorrow when it dries. The first thing in the morning we're going to prime the surfaces so that the bitumen mass can uh, stick really well. And uh, once it's primed we're going to do two layers of bitumen mass with a uh, netting in between. So you put on the first layer, you put a net inside, put the second, but I'll show you everything tomorrow. So we poured the concrete a little bit too high on the stairs, on the first uh, part of the stairs. So the idea is to put a bevel on the concrete. We're going to put the bitumen mass on top and then a layer of tar paper which will fold down nicely onto the uh, concrete floor so that we can have a good continuous layer of isolation even though the concrete is a bit too high. So we forgot to put in a pass-through for a drain in the mudroom, the floor drain. Mr. Jan now is drilling a hole through the concrete wall. We can put in a pipe later. And this is just a 100 diameter pipe. The hole is uh, two dimensions bigger, uh, 200 millimeters. So. Ah, and uh, it's important because these buildings can uh, shift in relation to each other because this wall is the, the wall that is a break between the two foundations. It's important for it to be bigger, so if one building moves, there's some gap, so the pipe can bend and doesn't shatter and stuff like that. Be sure to come and check out tomorrow's episode. Thank you very, guys very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you soon. Have a good day, bye.